what is going on YouTube welcome back to the channel guys we are uh, sitting in the cab because it is windy as hell outside and I'm not gonna try and stand in the wind and talk to y'all <laughs> it's uh the wind is whipping the dirt around I'm in a gravel parking lot you guys can see to my left um, it, it's it's pretty nasty out there but we are in Caney Kansas we're gonna take a load of uh, a bunch of random stuff, pipe fittings and plastic, PVC, stuff like that. Going up to uh, Minnesota, Minneapolis area, uh, Dayton to be exact. Gotta go through uh, Kansas City and Des Moines, lots of other big cities. So hopefully it'll be a smooth ride. Uh, I got 29,000 in the box. The, the load is, uh, it, it pays pretty good. It, I can't complain. I'd like more, but that's all right. The load that I had coming to Tulsa canceled, or coming out of Kans uh, coming out of Tulsa, um, we'll call it canceled. I wasn't going to be able to make the pickup because of uh, or the delivery on that one. So uh, no big deal. But right now we are uh, we are hooked up to the new trailer. We are ready to rock and roll. We've got the old scan gauge in here that I just picked up at uh, at four states on my way through. Just. Uh, Got this wonderful scan gauge thing here. So I've used them before. Uh, I used a long time ago before I paid off the truck. I, I used a buddy of mine uh, way back when. And uh, just kind of was like, let me go ahead and get another one. Let me see if I can uh, help the fuel mileage a little bit on this old girl. Um, but this thing's awesome. I, I like the scan gauge. You can monitor your fuel mileage, your cost per mile, um, your water temperature, oil temperature, boost pressure, oil pressure, transmission, like everything. You can monitor everything your your truck is set up to monitor. Um, you can monitor this thing, but the nice thing is it shows you the average uh, and the instant fuel mileage um, calculations of what's going on in the truck. So you're going down the road, you can kind of play with the pedal and you can watch it go up and down, all that good stuff. So it's pretty neat if you guys haven't, um, haven't heard of them or whatever if you're interested in one they're i'm not by any way sponsored by this at all uh, i just think it's a pretty good product uh it'll diagnose the like do diagnostics plugs up to the ecm all that good stuff so pretty cool thing we'll go over some more of that uh going down the road i'll do some point of view so you guys can see it and uh got a whole bunch of different gauges that you can select and run through it does celsius along with fahrenheit so uh pretty neat stuff but let's uh stop running our mouths and let's run the truck we got 645 miles to go and we're gonna wind up delivering thursday morning um yeah it's gonna be thursday morning so let's get on the road and play in the wind a little bit He always said he liked me Well now I think he lied I showed up late for every other date Cause the darn old thing won't run The transmission slips and the motor she drips This Pinto ain't no fun I've never made love in a Pinto Tell me has any one You just can't get to love a plane If the darn old thing won't run Spent more time in a tow truck in my baby's arms I never made love in a pinto Tell me how's anyone I know every tow truck driver The first name in my town See me on the side of the road And they swing right back around Do I was good for the money Cause this the only thing I spent it on I can't keep a dead when you show up late This pinto ain't no I never made love in a pinto. Tell me, has anyone? Just can't see the love of lane if the darn old thing won't run. I spent more time in a tow truck than in my baby's arm. Never made love in a pinto. Tell me, has anyone? Yo! Ain't 
sure is a small car. Roll down the window. I finally got rid of that pencil up and gave it away. And I walked down to the dealership and bought the Chevrolet. Now my life is going great I've never lived for a day Never made love in a kinto But I haven't that Chevrolet I've never made love in a pinto Tell me has it hit one I just can't get to the lovers lane If the Congo thing won't run I spent more time in a tow truck Than in my baby's arms I never made love Welcome to Kansas City, Missouri.
because I don't know. I'll do some more more digging and just see what's going on. Is it? I mean, it shows like right now I got my horsepower being used um, because that's interesting. The max I've had it up to is 302, and this is supposed to be like a four. 30 engine and it hasn't gone over the 300 so I don't know I don't know if uh, if it's just not just doesn't have the power anymore like it's wore out uh, or if it's programmed it's only 300 horsepower so that's interesting for, to me at least but I got my oil pressure set up because I got all analog gauges so it's nice to see a digital readout uh, because apparently my oil pressure gauge is about three and a half higher than what it actually is. Uh, it reads, the gauge reads three and a half PSI higher, maybe four PSI. Um, same thing with my water temperature. So it's interesting to, to see that. Volts reads pretty accurately. Everything else seems to be pretty normal. But I like the scan gauge. I'll have to show you guys. The... I had it up top on my dash, like on the top over here on the left hand corner. But I don't, I just didn't like the look of it. I didn't like it. I like the smooth lines of the dash. So I put it underneath on the bottom side underneath the headlight switch. And I like that a lot.
I'm going under the speed limit. It just seems too fast for these curves. Oh, hey, there's a nice bridge. I like the bridges. I'll let y'all see the bridge before we go, right? You're welcome.
guess, whatever, in that whole area. That crap's no fun. Tornado watches and warnings everywhere. They're saying 80 to 100 mile an hour winds, which is insane. Uh, especially, I mean, even if you don't have a, a tornado or a hurricane storm itself, you got just straight line winds like that. And, 80 to 100 mile an hour, like that's there's gonna be a lot of damage down there if it's as bad as they say it is.
all snow there still. Sheesh. got unloaded. It's fairly quick. <laughs> I'm at a, uh, a different facility than what I pulled into last night. Uh, apparently they uh, they recently moved to over here so um, a lot easier to mine, a lot easier to get into but it's only like, like 1.7 miles away. It's no big deal there. Just had to come over here, so. Um, the drone footage, guys. <laughs> I was a little leery about throwing the drone up in the air because the wind was so heavy. Uh, but it, it worked out, it just kind of moves around a little bit. <laughs> so, I'm sure somebody's gonna say something about that, but uh, yeah, 
it was it was interesting kind of watching like watching the video back uh, I flew it around a little bit more and it, the wind definitely has has a major control of that but we're gonna head to the next load get down south we got a tournament this weekend again um, more softball karate all that good stuff guys so thank you all for watching I appreciate all the love and support you guys show me in this channel um, yeah uh, I was gonna say something about Landstar but I'll leave it alone until next time um, let y'all's family know you love them give them hugs and kisses uh, think a better and carry a weapon live your life so the preacher doesn't have to lie at your funeral y'all be good I'll see y'all on the next one